now we will install the rotating, freely rotating wheel on the back of the robot and the shelf where we'll have the breadboards on top of that wheel. They will be separated from the chassis with spacers, so we need the back of small spacers and the necessary bolts for those spacers. We'll start by installing one spacer at this opening right here on the side opposite of the motors. That spacer will hold the shelf right here on top of the wheel. We'll start by putting a bolt and then screw it, the spacer on top of it. Next, we'll put the four spacers, standoffs, for the freely rotating wheel. This time we put the bolt on the top and the spacer on the bottom of the chassis. the four spacers are in place. We will not tighten them too much for now. So we can adjust the wheel on top of them. Now we place the wheel and start securing it with bolts. Here is the first bolt, leave it slightly loose, go diagonal bolt, again do not fully tight so if necessary the other bolts can adjust the position of the wheel and continue with the last two both. This one needs slight adjustment, but since we have let the other slightly loose, it is not difficult to make the adjustment. also tighten it in place. Once when all the bolts are in place, we can tighten them properly.
Now we can put the last two standoffs spaces. There will be one of them in this hole right here. And the second one will be in this more inner hole right here. So the one that is more on the inside of the chassis. Tighten them. And now we can mount the shelf on top. We'll use three more bolts and start mounting it in place. Put the bolts loosely. And once properly aligned, tighten them in place. And our shelf is properly mounted on top of the rotating back wheel. Now I can mount the wheel on the motor axis. The axis have flat shape and the same goes for the holes on the wheels. So we simply have to rotate the wheels until they fit on the axe and then press them until they are fully inserted. Repeat the same step with the other wheel. Make sure it is properly aligned with the axe and press until fully inserted. The two wheels are now in place and it starts to look more and more like a ready robot.